What's up everybody, it's Shannon back with another gaming video and it's hard to believe that we are literally at the one year mark of the record breaking and award winning game Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And I thought it'd be appropriate this week to make a video of kind of the top five things I would like to see in a sequel for Jedi Fallen Order. Number one, continuation of Cal and Marin's story. And dealing with that moral dilemma that is clearly they are fighting their training and conditioning. And double down on that, you know, on games such as like Dishonored and Assassin's Creed, where you can kind of choose your character. I would like to see it's where like, you know, you can do the same mission, but you'll get different outcomes depending on who you choose to do the mission. So say you visit a planet and you have Cal do the mission or you have Marin do it. I don't know. I think it'd be really cool. Plus, I think it'd be interesting that you could build Mirren up very much like you were able to build Cal up in the first game. So you can have kind of that same thing. They both do like meditations kind of stuff, but then have her own skill tree. But then it's more of a mystical side, whereas his was more melee and there's some force powers in there, but that would be really cool. I'd also like to see the possibility of the skills crossing over from, say, a save point of Jedi Fallen Order, you know, one to Star Wars Jedi colon whatever the name is, much like the Mass Effect game did. You very much could keep kind of your story arc and the characters you chose and your renegade and your basically honor code over to the next game. That would be really cool. So whatever you had in your said skill tree can carry over into the sequel. It would also be neat to see where you can start having dark side and light side powers and obviously them kind of be lit up. I thought this was going to happen actually in the game where sometimes an object would be highlighted in red and I was like, oh, maybe that means you need to use a dark side power to use it, but no. But I think it would be cool to kind of see it where, kind of similar to Dante's Inferno, where you had kind of moral and immoral power. Same here. Number two customizations. Now, I understand that this all needs to feed into a canon story and things, but keep the poncho feel of Cal, but maybe go into like what his concepts were from earlier concept art where the, it was longer or have things like, you know, a trouser or shirts or gauntlets. Nothing big, but just some things so the character feels like you're able to make him your own, but still keep that look because i mean this is one of the things we ran into with knights of the old republic and why that main character you play struggles for a canon look because you could change the gender and everything so obviously not quite that customization route but it would be cool and maybe adjust things like maybe the hair and facial hairstyles similar to red dead redemption 2. we know those engines can handle it and now because this will probably be a next gen console release i think that could be quite simple and easy but nice Number three, have what I call a two to five planet ratio. What I mean by that is any new Star Wars story, there needs to be a little bit of the old to complement the new. And I feel for the next game, have two planets that are already canon. And for me, that would be like Dathomir and say Jeddah. And I'll get into that in a moment, but have five other planets that are completely new or even some brought back from the EU into canon. Number four, side quests. But there has to be a story reason that you can do these if you want to, to dive more into the story of the characters and they're not just fetch quests. Because let's be honest, finding tarot cards and fossils in Red Dead Redemption 2 can be so annoying. But if these side quests help build an ability or uh, unlock in a cosmetic or something like I thought all the plants would be doing in the first game and nothing came of it, then I'm all for it. Number five canon character cameos. Say that five times fast. I would like to see canon character cameos that aren't the big three. So Jedi Fallen Order has already had two cameos with Saw Gerrera and Vader, spoiler alert, which was great. And again, tapping into that something old with something new. But I don't want to see Yoda. I don't want to see Obi-Wan or Luke, Leia, Han. There is a bigger universe out there that could speak to our protagonists, but still kind of ties into Star Wars stories. That's where I would love to see like Chirrut and Baze come in and see them as Guardian of the Wills. And it doesn't even have to be a full on like character interaction. They could be like training as monks and when the Guardian of the Wills because they haven't quite fallen yet. It's very vague when this has happened uh, on Jeddah, but it's right in that heart of Jeddah being taken over by the Empire. So 
it could work. Or one of the reasons why maybe we go back to Dathomir is Maul and Kira are there. And you can even have something to where when Maul sees Mirren, he can be appalled and be like, how dare you betray your race or have Kira say Cal and is reminded of a young Han. Kind of almost even bring back that Tereskasi as well. So those are kind of my top five things I would like to see in a sequel. What would you like to see in a sequel? Hit me up in the comment section down below. As always, you can follow me at shenanigans, spelled with an E-N, underscore plays, and I'm also on Twitch with the same name, and I will see you guys next time.